Okay, how is it the one that has the lowest rating is the one that I enjoy? Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hi guys, this is my review for Wonder Woman Bloodlines, and I had admittedly been very turned off of this film, mainly because it had such a low rating on IMDb in comparison to the other DC animated universe films, and how does this one have a lower rating than Hush? Hush is garbage, but this isn't bad. By all means, it's actually a pretty decent Wonder Woman story. It has a better former friend slash villain than the current 1984 film does. And it has a conclusion that's far more interesting than Hush. I will give it one thing. The two villains of this film are completely useless. The weird robot thing and then Poison Woman. There's no real development with them at all because what they bring in the end is the actual villain and really should have been the villain throughout the whole film. But the main part I enjoyed was the relationship between Diana and Silver Swan. This a relationship starts with Diana knowing her at a young age. Essentially, Diana is this surrogate mother figure, almost kind of like an aunt, really, because while she's trying to help her, she's not controlling her. She's trying to help and save her throughout the whole film. And that never-ending desire to help her and other people is very well established in this film. I do enjoy Diana's arc through this film, from her leaving Themyscira with Steve Trevor, all the way up until the end. The last fight at the end of the movie is an actually good damn fight. I enjoyed it far more than any of the fights in Reign of the Superman. I enjoyed it far more than any of the fights in Batman Hush. So again, I don't understand why this movie is getting so much shit. Is it as good as the original? original one that was produced by Bruce Tim? Not really. It's got some flaws. Like I said, the villains really don't matter, especially when the main villain of the film is introduced. She's not even a main villain. She's just kind of released and like, yeah, I'm the big bad now. And then it kind of dips into Power Rangers territory. But I enjoy the humor of the film. I enjoy the writing. I enjoy the pacing. I was actually invested in the story far more than Hush. I was invested in it far more than the Reign of Superman. I was invested in it far more than Justice League Apocalypse Dark War. This is a decent film. I say this is decent. It it has, like I said, issues. The animation is decent-ish. I don't really kind of agree with the coloring of the Wonder Woman outfit. I just prefer the other one. The other one just has much more color to it. The new one just, I don't know, I've never enjoyed it. I've never enjoyed it when it was introduced in New 52. I wasn't interested in it in war. I just think that the original color scheme is just, it's good. So don't change it. Otherwise though, I think Bloodlines is far better than people give it credit for. I think it's much more entertaining than people give it credit for. It doesn't pander either. I find that was something that I possibly thought that might have been a thing that some people were getting a little bit butthurt about some pandering. No, it doesn't even do that either. So in the end, I'm gonna give Wonder Woman Bloodlines a four out of seven. It's a solid film. It's better than the last bunch that I watched in the last little while. This is the last movie that came out before that apocalypse war, and all of you who said that, ooh, it matters in the universe, this is bullshit. This movie doesn't do shit in terms of setting up that one. It's just somewhat maybe connected. I did not need to watch all of the previous movies to understand that movie. I'm very, very certain of that now. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, See you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.